Whoa, what do we got here? It looks like a project. All right, so what we got here is a, uh, well, this is a back board uh, for Triumph TR4. Oh, this is from Moss Motors. Nice looking uh, part there. It's kind of a fiberboard type of material with like a leather look finish on the one side here. Uh, so that's pretty nice. That screws into some holes on the trunk here. Uh, and then originally that would have been pretty much everything that was in this trunk on this car. But when we ordered our interior kit, we also ordered this trunk carpet kit, which includes a uh, carpet for the rear shelf in here, as well as a pad for that, and then some carpet panels that fit kind of up inside the fender wells in the trunk. So we're gonna be putting those in also. All right, so we've done some test fitting here and uh, everything fits pretty tight. It looks like all the holes in the board line up pretty nicely with the holes in the trunk itself. It doesn't look like the extra thickness of the carpet on the side is gonna affect the fitment of this board too much. What does look like a little bit of a problem is that this board has a notch in the center here uh, that fits over this panel, which we built. You can check that out in a previous episode. Uh, but I think this board needs a little notch made where these clips are in the back because when it's sitting up on top of those, it's a little bit too tall to fit in there. So we're just gonna have to put just a small little notch right in this corner here to get everything to fit right. So we're gonna notch that out. We're gonna get these carpet panels glued in and uh, really that's kind of all there is to this project. It's not too complicated, although those are famous last words. Trunk board is fitting up nicely, but before we install that permanently using uh, screws and these little uh, Tinnerman clips that go on the body of the car, we got to get these carpet pieces in the corners glued into place. Uh, they do take just a little bit of trimming, uh, and what I've done is I've actually tucked it so it tucks down around the body, so when that last piece of carpet comes in here, it'll cover up any paint in this corner. And then in this corner, I've got a little relief cut made here to help it fit better. There's a couple of little clips you gotta trim around here. And then we're gonna use a little bit of spray adhesive, not like a whole lot, but I'm gonna keep the spray adhesive below maybe this level right here. And the reason for that is there's some wires that run up along the top there, and it'll be important to make sure we can still access those. So the very top edge of this carpet piece is going to be free to kind of pull away if you need to access any of that. So just a little bit of spray glue kind of in this area, we'll stuff it all into place and then that should be the majority of the work here.
All right, well, that's pretty much it for the trunk carpet. Uh, we got the board in here. Fits pretty nice. I will say the holes over, there's another screw over here that didn't really line up at all. Uh, it doesn't really seem like entirely necessary. Everything's pretty, pretty solid here. So uh, yeah, I think we're done. The carpet is a nice touch on the sides. Again, not original. Um, and I don't know, kind of clashes with the black board, which is the only color board I could find available. But uh, it's it's nice to have a little carpet in there to keep your luggage looking nice. One thing we did not do is we didn't attach the jute padding to this piece of carpet here. I'm not so sure it's really going to add a whole lot to this uh, application, other than maybe making a mess. Uh, so we're going to leave that off for now. And possibly in the future, too, it would be nice to maybe have a snap or something for this carpet to attach to the floor with so it doesn't slide around too much. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And yeah, looks like aside from putting a spare tire in there, our trunk is done. All right, so that's gonna do it for our trunk carpet adventure. Uh, I think we're safe in calling that done. Uh, I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. Uh, I didn't really see a lot of instructions or anything for these trunk carpet kits, so uh, at least we gave you maybe a little bit of an idea of what they consist of and how they go together, and uh, you can decide if you want one yourself. I, for one, am pretty happy with how that turned out. I think it really gives it kind of a nice look, so. Well, thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate all your comments, your likes, and your support. Uh, don't forget to go check us out over on Instagram at Weg's Garage. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you over there. Until next time, later.